Friday, one of Weezy Mirrored is early Sunday morning, 3.31 a.m. to be exact. I'm kind of beta testing this software. It may drop frames, I don't know, it might not sync my commentary. Yoshi's Woolly World was basically sabotaged by this difficult but uh, I think I will eventually upload it, but right now we're here for Superchargers. Very important day today, I was finally able to locate and bring home uh, the two elite Skylanders that were out, which of course November 1st voodooed, and November 8th uh, Zook, and I realize now I actually intended to do voodooed first, so we'll just magically change this to I believe introduction number 22. Uh, that said, Slam Bam is technically out today, Toys R Us not open yet, but uh, if you're looking for Slam Bam, pick him up today. That said, here we are. This is a little tip for you. I'm kind of up here above the academy. We've got our toy plane, the play rug, the fruit stand. If you ever wondered if there's money in those crates, when you're like, how do you get to those? You can't jump. What is the point in this? Jet back to the rescue. Well, that was botched. Anyway, <laughs> jet back to the rescue. I have actually gotten cash out of there, so. But uh, what we're going to do now, real quick, is we're going to pull a legendary hurricane jetpack from the portal of power. I've got Elite Zook here and we're gonna set him down on the Traptanium portal because that's the one I use here. There we go. Okay, he's not going to fit. <laughs> this is a problem. Um, we didn't have to have the vehicle. Is that gonna do it? it Shit. Stream. There we go. <laughs> was his mortar upside down when he was doing that? Oh good lord, he is level 20. Health 2340. So he is definitely special. But does that kind of take some of the fun out of it? I don't know. Uh, not sure how I feel about that. But this is just what he looks like in the game. Uh, did you know you can hurdle down from here? Well, that's where I've done it before. Anyway, did you know you can jump down where you came up? I bet you didn't. <laughs> All right. There's our elemental torch. And the elemental gym is in here. Well, if you wonder what those do, there's the fountain. Uh, we've reorganized a few things here, I think, since you were last in the academy with me. That said, let's get somewhere dramatic. Is this a good spot? Possibly. Let's go ahead and check. Okay, so the Y button does nothing. That would mean that he is not fully upgraded. Uh, I believe that's exactly what the box stated, which had me wondering. But uh, let's jump down here. You can definitely do that. So what we're going to do here, ignore this mess. This is what I do here. <laughs> and, uh, once we unlock more territory, we'll kind of, you know, play around and figure that out. So what we want to do is simply come and take a look at the stat screen. I actually need to sit down here because it's a spreadsheet deal. Uh, again, I kind of am hesitant about this software thing. I don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to work, and that's a scary proposition. So here we are. This is what I wanted. I've got my special brand new elite section on this base stats spreadsheet. So let's come in and check it out. Feel the power! Alright, so uh, we're going to come up here. First thing we're going to do is just get it done. We're going to go to stats. Alright, max health. 2,340. That currently puts him as the top dog. However, you have to realize he's at level 20. So if we were to put that in perspective, he'd fall right about where he should. Speed 48. Not sure what the plus 5 is about. Let me actually denote that in parentheses. I don't know if that's some elite thing or what exactly that is, but we will log it, 48, uh, so technically 43 plus 5, I don't know why, but plus 5 armor is 86, parentheses, plus 20, uh, critical hit, we're going to be 29, plus 5, I got a, uh, what was it, the sheepwreck hat, uh, right before I started recording, it was like plus 37 critical hit, so... That's pretty ridiculous. And then elemental power is 32. And that one makes sense because we've got stealth elf in the game. So, we got that logged. Again, the health is the juggernaut number. But again, this is level 20 stuff here. So he did come at level 20, but 
he did not come with any cash and he did not come upgraded speaking of upgrades let's take a look here you've got the bazooka attack uh, I guess I'll type into my spreadsheet later I'll spare you the trouble of listening to the keystrokes where is the attack damage though <laughs> okay uh, I thought I had made a new one. Yes, right there. So, let me actually go ahead and do the base one. So, bazooka attack. And then after that, we have got the foliage barrier. This is classic SSA right here. Uh, in my opinion, it remains the best game in the series by a significant margin. But, let's not to say these others aren't any good. It's just that one that's got the nostalgia for me. It was the first time. You know how it goes. We've got hardwood shells coming up next, and we're not even talking about these, are we? Alright, so, all these prices are reflective of our tin wing sapphires. 20% discounts, that's the best you can get in the game. Bazooka attack, press X to fire bazooka shells that explode into shrapnel. Hold X to extend the range. Didn't see a lot of that after SSA and Giants, really, but uh, it did actually function. Right here, Foliage Barrier, this is huge. Again, you think back to SSA, you think of this, you think of Hex, uh, a couple other different character setups, but press B to grow a barricade made of plants to protect yourself. You won't believe how important that becomes later on. Now, right here, these next four are his base upgrades. We've got Hardwood Shells for 400. Bazooka shells and shrapnel do increased damage. I'm just going to go ahead and type this out. You don't care. <laughs> so, up next is Fungal Bloom. If you can hear the keyboard there, 560. Barrier is stronger and takes longer for enemies to destroy. After that, we have got Mortar Attack for 720. This is your tertiary. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is going out. But uh, press Y to launch a Mortar Attack. This is actually kind of a fun little attack, in all honesty. And the next one, we have got Full Splinter Jacket, Bazooka Shells Create More Shrapnel. Again, that will make perfect sense once you see it. And we've got it typed in. Now, this top path, it is Artillery Man. Uh, don't ask me why I remember these things, but I do. <laughs> and uh, It's one of those ones I think the very, very vast majority of people took this path. I, on the other hand, said, okay, what makes him unique? And it would be you know, Floral Defender, the bottom path, but the other thing I factored into it was his bazooka didn't really need flipping upgrades. It was pretty pretty legit with just the base upgrades, I felt. And so I figured enhancing the bottom end on Floral Defender would be better. Floral Defender remains one of my personal favorite paths in the history of the game. It is that good. That said, Artillery Man up top. Uh, high Velocity Shrapnel. Not to say this one isn't bad. Uh, it's actually pretty good as well, but... Certain playstyles dictate certain things, but uh, there are some paths that just cannot be denied. You got Old Growth Bazooka here. And it is Bazooka Shells and Shrapnel do even more damage. That one was longer range. And lastly, you got Exploding Shrapnel. Bazooka Shrapnel explodes on contact, damaging nearby enemies. This is actually kind of a fun one, <clears throat> if I'm remembering it correctly, and I do believe that I am. I took uh, Series 2 Zook down this one, and I think then I said I'm going to go ahead and reset him, <laughs> take him down Floral Defender. That said, right here, uh, we've got uh, the bottom path, which as I mentioned is Floral Defender. The name might have deterred some people, but I assure you, uh, do not be discouraged. Up first is Cactus Barrier. I drag this out because I'm typing as we go. Barrier does damage to enemy, any enemy that touches it, and at the time, any player that you were battling in PvP arena modes, and it was freaking fantastic. After that, you've got the Mortar of Life. Now this, eh, you know, it's one of those things, but if you see it, I think you'll appreciate it. Mortar attacks grow a cactus where the shell explodes, which obviously allows you to strategically advance as you expand with your you know, secondary defensive attack. After that, you got fighting foliage. You say foliage, or do you say foliage? It's always interesting to know how people differentiate the two. But barriers and cacti knock enemies back and do damage. Absolutely love that deal. And lastly, we've got Merv. I think is what I used to refer to it as. It is the Merv mortar. Mortar shells explode into three smaller shells. This is the Soul Gym. Obviously, Zook doesn't have a Soul Gym and Supercharger, so it's, I assume, one of those things where we will progress 
And presto shinjo, you know, once we take our upgrade path, or I guess possibly once we get our tertiary attack over here, where is it? Right there, once we buy mortar attack, I'm thinking this should be unlocked if you want to go that route. But those are his base upgrades. We're going to take it. Upgrade pass and sold you. We're going to take a look at his base attacks now with bazooka and foliage barrier. So let's hop out of here. Let's actually. This is a good look at Zook. Again, note the playful uh, bam. <laughs> bazooka. Uh, bamboo bazooka, I guess we should say. Uh, his figure is a pretty accurate representation of this. The detail has actually gotten better on this Elite, in my opinion. Uh, pretty impressive when you actually have it in hand out of the packaging. So, uh, that said, we're going to go ahead and back out of here. And let's have some fun. So, bazooka attack. That's what we want to do. Let's just shoot it up this way. You can kind of see what it does there. Callie's rocking the top hats. And if we... Y. That was me holding Y right here, these last two, now three shots you see. Tapping Y, it just explodes right at the base of the stairs. And again, I will hold Y this time. Goes up the stairs and explodes on that little... What is that thing exactly? Vacuum, steam, pressure, pod, dimensional gate, I don't know. Whatever that deal is with the pressure gauge, I guess, or clock, who knows for sure what it is. But, uh, so from here, if I tap X, 25, if I tap X from here, we'll never get it. Okay, so he can jump, note. Okay, well, let's just... So 25, if I hold X... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not 25. Okay, so standard is 25. So this is interesting. Alright, bazooka attack. Tap is going to be equal to 25 to 38. And then critical, I'm not critical, but holding it to extend the range, we're getting 85. And then half of that would be, should be 128, right? For the grand total. Because not 85 equals 128, 85-128. So uh, half of 85 is 42, 5, 43. So yeah, 128. Interesting stuff. Again, if I rapid tap X, you're going to fire off 25 to 38 every time. If I hold X, and you saw 38 there, which was nice. If we hold X, that's all I'm going to change. We're going to do 85 to 128. Sweet. So you extend the range and you bump up the damage significantly. Now, foliage barrier. That's what it looks like. And you're like, that's stupid. But check it out. There's round two. Okay, so there's only two rounds. For some reason, I thought it was three. But you can have two rounds, and this actually slows enemies down and kind of impedes them, damages them. Let's see if we can log damage here. I don't think we can. Okay, so obviously, there's no damage coming up. Luckily, unlike in SSA and Giants, where I had to go do heroic challenges to log this stuff quickly, we have got the Greeble Dispenser. So check this out. You look like a nut with that hat, Buzz. See what it does there? Now we'll make this a little thicker and just play around with it. Pretty simple stuff, and the good news is when you're in close range like that, if you're like me with your playstyle, you tend to hold X anyway. So, uh, foliage barrier and bazooka attack, pretty, pretty key ingredients here to shape up to make a great, great character. Here's a backup thumbnail. So, that's what we'll roll with. Or maybe... Yeah, that's good right there. Anyway, this is Elite Zook. We've kind of covered everything, right? We got his stats covered we got his upgrades covered he is in fact level 20 he does not have cash we'll have to get him all the money to do the upgrades well let's actually make sure look I assume they wouldn't just give them to us any place that you go I can reach and bring you the magical upgrades that's the sound when it's, the game says no um, and again right here confirmed as we thought unlock mortar attack to purchase this ability so uh, we'll just have to get him some cash, get those sweet, sweet upgrades, see how he kind of stacks up here in Skyliner Superchargers. But this is Elite Zook. The ship disappeared on me. Used to be here when I was first playing tonight. 
But uh, we've got him introduced. We're going to take a look at um, Elite Voodoo coming up next, so stay tuned for that. It'll be interesting to see what he logs damage-wise now. So it's been a long time since we've gotten to play this Voodoo, but hopefully this recorded, and hopefully the commentary is synced. If it is not, I apologize. There is nothing I can do on my end. Uh, this has to do with the windows basically and their update from Tuesday so I'm trying to work it out hopefully this again will uh, be in place or at least somewhat close if not you're probably hearing me say things before you see them which is weird but just assume that I'm psychic or super awesome or something whichever you think sounds uh, more enticing but uh, this is Elite Zook again I was stoked to finally get these guys my first time seeing them in the store stock was decent although my local stores never had them I had to go out of town to get these but uh, we've got Voodoo coming up next which technically we were supposed to do him first but again I'll just renumber these and uh, as soon as I can get uh, Elite Slam Bam I'll get him introduced as well so definitely looking forward to that he is my nephew's favorite character he also likes Freeze Blade though but uh, those two are at the top of his personal list so uh, definitely gonna be going that route soon let me know your thoughts here on Elite Zook how do you feel about them coming in at level 20 uh, are you cool with that? Would you have rather had level 10 and 10,000 coins or some cash? Or would you prefer that they come box stock with nothing? Or would you like level 5 with 2,500? Let me know what your thoughts are here and what you would consider ideal with the elites. Furthermore, let me know if you plan to purchase the elites. I've got tons of discussion up on the elites in previous videos and on the Skylander Club forum. Feel free to throw down your dream roster. Uh, if you're stoked that it's Zook, if you think it should have been Stump Smash, Stealth Elf, whatever your thoughts may be, feel free to post them up. And uh, let's just get the discussion rolling, see how people uh, fare in terms of the consensus opinions we might uh, populate. But that said, I will quit rambling, I will get uh, Voodoo introduced here. And again, I hope this is a presentable video. If not, I apologize. I blame Microsoft and you should too, because it's their fault if it's wrong. So. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. WannaWeezum.com, SkylanderClub.com. If you like the forum, sign up. We'd love to have you join us. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. But once again, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you back here for more Skylanders Superchargers.